on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you guys. Hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can be here when things happen. And also, to, um, I've got an affiliate link down below. If you plan on purchasing the game, want to help support me a little bit there, just click on that there link and that'll help me out a lot with the Epic Store purchase. And either way, we are here. I figured I'd show you guys the what we did during our Twitch streams. We streamed about 22 hours, and I play I had it run one night just to see if it would run, and it did. Um, so there's about 34, 35 hours played on this map. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll just do a quick overview, then we'll go to each individual thing. So we have stuff over there. We have stuff over here. We have stuff over here. We have the space elevator there. We have this over here. We have these over there. We have some of this continuing there, and we have other things that happened. Uh, 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 go, 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 go. This was temporary storage for, for concrete that I was storing here. Then we have this going on. So, uh, to get started, let us start with the initial things that we did. Well, I let it sit and work, hand worked a whole bunch of stuff to get this started, like a, a lot. Uh, this way I could build what I wanted, how I wanted. And so uh, this is our iron production, which uh, the way I'm going to do it now is going to be different. But this is cool to see. Like, this is a learning process, too, to see how the game worked for me. And uh, we end up having enough of a load coming out to splitting both of these, obviously. We're, we're with uh, the, the lights make it look weird. Where the lights actually, uh, well, the lights, the, the iron ore splits where it was making full power on smelting. So we had three inputs on it. So six actual smelters. That ran out i have an overflow protection or capture or whatever so we had ingots ready to go and then we had six constructors here one side is doing plates one side is why is that like that why am i missing a wall i'm into my wall I'll put it back um and then we had uh this coming in here we had openings nicely done and inside you can see how we have the four constructors here we had the two up top which i believe i made stairs on the sides of one of these is this this one yes we got stairs here to look at this. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get up here. I can show you. And up here, we had more constructors up here doing stuff. So you can see everything is full, actually. So that's why it's all stopped. Um, over here, I had prepped up for six more refineries, should I decide to do this. And the refineries themselves, uh, how already have their splitters on them ready to go. And if you look up there, you can see conveyor belts. So if I want to run more iron, I found like six iron deposits over that way. So I could br easily bring more into the, the game. Now that went all the way through to this on this side. Let's run back down. Jump. Jump. Yeah, we're pretty good at this, aren't we? And then over here, this ran down into the storage for permanent stuff like that. And I end up running two of the rods over to make bolts. And that's there. Now, um, in the distance here, over in this side, we can this was our iron. So over in the copper side of things, which is this end of the corner. I don't know if I made that jump. I did. I'm good, good, good to go. Over here, we have a lot of copper stuff happening, too. Now, we have a copper node all the way down there and a copper node up here. And they pushed out a good amount of copper ore. And I ended up pushing, splitting them into threes. Let me show you first at the top how this goes, though. So, over here, we have the copper pushing it out. And what would happen, what happens is the copper comes down here and it follows the line here and it goes down and in. Then this line is limestone, but the, there's a... Where's the second line at? Oh, no, that's not. That's copper. This line is copper. The limestone's up there. The copper is up there. There is a limestone miner that way, but the copper pushes down through here, and the second one goes down below. So if you're looking through here, we have a place for copper ore to back up into, which it is backed up into, and we have a lot of mats, guys. Oops. We fell down. Go boom. Then through here, you can see I've got them coming down, and they ran into splitters inside this building because I thought it looked kind of ugly the way it did. So I just went ahead and we worked out a way to get this in here. Oh, I could do some of the ceiling. Um, and then out here, it splits out through the splitter windows and goes into our copper refineries. I got to try to dress up the building some. Again, this is me learning how the system worked, what looked kind of good, what didn't. And I don't say this looks great, but it, it was a good first like build into the, into the environment. Anyhow, we had three continue down to these constructors and three go to the top. The three at the bottom made the wire and then I immediately stored it, which it's all full. And then up top here, we put these up. This is up here. And this is where more wires get done. And I want, wow! And I wanted to expose the wires. I mean, oh, oops, I thought I did that. I didn't, I guess. And this is, I didn't realize when I was building this, I had done it on the shallow ones, but it is what it is. Make it up here. And I do a jumpy jump over here. There we go. Nice. So we'll go up this way. This conveyor is still here. 
So, um, I didn't realize, oh, well, now, now, the, blah, 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 but I like seeing the conveyors and the stuff moving on them. I think it looks really cool. So I worked on trying to learn to get the angles right for the conveyors. And generally it, it this part was, yeah, and my brain was fizzle fried by the time I got here, but by the time I got to this corner, kind of worked out my angles a little bit better. And they feed into here and these constructors are making cables. The cables themselves pushed out and went into storage over here, which those were for testing. And that was all the stuff I did with copper. Now, my goal was to eventually have a storage over right next to my hub for, and to feed everything into it. Uh, that, that didn't, we didn't have enough time. Um, like I said, 22 hours streamed between two days. Yeah, one day was 12, one was like 10, something like that. Anyway, that is all that. Now, this building here, this huge building, I said to make a concrete plant because I felt like that it would look kind of cool and neat. Let's get up top here first and we'll, we'll show you this. I've got some stuff feeding in here, but as you can see, they're not feeding up there. So we have a basement in this place, um, which this is still running because I've used uh, some some uh, cement. So it's it's still going, which is nice. And these, of course, have their own overload for the limestone thing going into here. We have the constructors. Oh, the thing about this, um, I have two normal and two uh, impure nodes coming in you can see the difference you can see how there's a couple there and there's a couple there and then this one looks more full so that's like 30 60 30 60 so and actually the constructors work at optimal uh, with about 45 with everything at base speed with no slug stuff added to it so what i've done is when i brought these up here i split them up to where they would go you know impure normal impure normal and they go to a merger and so it puts them together so this is about a 90 because that's why we have the MK2 in here, because we needed that to be able to handle that much resources coming in. Well, then it goes to the splitter, and it evenly splits it up to 45 and 45. So that is why these are put into here, so we could have even disbursement amongst our machines that lead into the constructors that push out the cement, which I have four storages for each constructor that feeds into each other how it, wants, how it needs to. And I, I kind of made it work how I could. It is symmetrical, so that's what's important to me. So you can see in here where it feeds back on itself. So it, it's it's pretty much uh, pretty good for me. Um, the back end, we did have some iron nodes that I end up making room for them with uh, a, a little bit of an adjustment here. And I put down the miners so I can make sure I could build correctly within the area I had available to us. Now, um, we'll get underneath too and I'll show you how that works. Over here, we have two ramps coming down. And then I have a feed coming in on one side for, if, if, as you can see, one is an impure, one is a normal uh, output of limestone coming from over in that direction. I put in some doors here. And you can see that we lit, fed these in this way, which is nice. And then we had another limestone node down in there. I'll show you that in a second. And then we had one from the distance that I showed you when I was looking at the copper. And up here is where I split them and fed them up into the holes. So, and then I added a half foundation to kind of close it up some so it didn't look, you couldn't see too much in this room. All you could really see is the feeding of it happening, which is pretty cool. I like that. I have a hard time getting across here too. Did I do it over here? Probably not. No, I did. So over here, it was pretty cool because our starting area has a limestone deposit like right on top of where we're building. So I end up building a building, <laughs> building a building around it. And I put a wall conveyor connector on, down here and it ended up being able to snap the belt through the rock which is kind of cheaty buggy but it ended up working for our needs right at this time so this all fit in nicely you had a nice size space in here is a two by three which is pretty cool let's get up top if i uh, get over here let's get up top again this way i had this opening to get into that side which is nice and then i added two lookouts up there because it looked kind of cool and we'll overview this section of it with that and you can see also here this is where we're looking down on the miner. So we have that set up to look nice and pretty. Now, actually, let's go to that side since you've already seen most of this in here. And try to get the build to look pretty good, too. And there we go. So you can see we got a nice, it looks like a freaking factory warehouse kind of thing going on. So I'm pretty happy about that. And it looks pretty cool. Also, the miner little bay area it looks pretty cool in my opinion as well. Down here, we have 10 coal factories, uh, coal generators running. Um, they're running on the, the splitter system that I like to use. They don't have the loop on them. And you can see the coal coming in from there. So that's all set up. 
Um, and that was our iron. That was that. That was this. Okay, so let's go over to the far away areas that I've set up for streaming. Like, whenever the game releases, we're supposed to be able to keep our saves. Jump and go. There we go. We're supposed to be able to replay from our saves, so this progress won't be lost. So we're going to come back to it whenever we do streaming. Um, just like the YouTube bit series we're doing. So let's go this way. And I have put down several foundations here, just a few, um, at this level. And I threw up a, a watchtower to look at some of the things. As you can see, this took a, as you can probably guess from what you can see, this took a long time to set up. So we'll go all the way back to the beginning and, and where this all starts at on this end and show, look at what else is going on. And I'll explain why we have a second set of conveyors coming through too. But, um, as you can see, here's the first limestone adding to actually it's the second one this is the second limestone adding into the coal this coal is running from the same coal area i'm running these on base conveyors because i don't have the coal boosted because i didn't have a need at the time and preemptively was just like okay this will work for now we can work it out later so you can see over there it's running through there's the splitter down there so from the miner to the splitter it is an mk2 belt so it can handle 120 that is a pure deposit so that's 120 per minute coming out of that miner. Splits up, goes on regular ones that go 60. These aren't moving because we are full on coal. I have five or six bins full of coal. And then we add the limestone to the stack, which the stack is here. Cool thing about stacks too is they have ladders on the sides. You can actually use them for lookouts and then go up taller than a regular lookout. If I can get up here, we'll be okay. If I can get up here, there we go. So that has that, and as it feeds the round and over, this is where we introduce our second limestone production line and it goes in and stacks on top of this. And so these will continue on in the same way uh, because it made sense to stack them since they're going almost to the same place because our coal entrance uh, of storage is down there. So this coal ends up going to a merger from the 120s uh, from the 60s to 120s all the way through the system. So it's at max speed for as much as it can. So we have a full load of coal. And if you look at it, how much this is backed up, we have a lot of coal just hanging out. This limestone splits off and goes this way. And this is what feeds into the, this side of our lovely uh, concrete factory. Now this conveyor system here, over here. Then we're going, we're going as fast as we can. I need to go this way probably. No, I need to go this way. You can see there's been a lot of work done. And this is uh, the building The is been mo almost all stream. It's supposed almost all stream. If you guys would want to check it out, the VOD should still be up if you want to watch any of it. I warn you, though, they're extremely long. Long! Like this conveyor system here. Look at this. This is going all the way up here. So what this has on it is we have a load. We have a coal node up here, too. Whenever the early release happens, we will have access to steel, which will require coal and iron in a foundry to make it i love foundries those are one of my favorite things if you guys know anything about any of my previous survival series you know what i mean anyway we have this so there are two actual iron nodes over here so this this is original conveyor i was just getting using this to get coal from up here which you can see up there the, the machines up there let's just go ahead i build a ramp system to go up it to make it look a little cleaner coming down with the conveyor stacks and put them to the side so it would be easier for me to run up it too without having to worry about getting like moving around and getting knocked off so this is actually an interesting spot for a uh, cole's uh node i, I personally think because it's like on top of a big 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 little arch thing looking down at a bottom of a real i think there's like a, i wouldn't call this a boss but like a mini boss kind of guy that shoots the fire but like a lot of them and stuff and they drop the same amount of crap as the small ones so i just avoid it instead of worrying about it um but anyway this stuff leads over to here and goes all the way down. So whenever the uh, the update happens, I'll be tearing down some of this conveyor belt stuff here and uh, we'll be introducing that into our foundries. And I have got about 36 or 40 slugs. So we could use that to actually um, overdrive that miner, a new miner even more and do the upgraded belts to push as much as we can to get as much steel out as we can and then reintroduce into this line. 
and that's what this entire line's for. It will probably end up having four steel factories happening. That's why you eventually see four conveyors, because I was like, okay, I'm just going to start plugging in the, the four stacks as well. There you can see it up ahead. So that is generally what the um, we've done and the streams. It might be seem like a quick overview, but it, this has taken a long time to build. It's been extremely fun and hey, squiggly. It's been extremely fun and we've been having a good time with it too. I really enjoy this game a lot. Um, played a lot of Factorio, played a lot of survival explorer games, played city builders. And this is kind of like a, a culmination of it all uh, going off, well, at least in a lot of the aspects and it's very well executed. So let me run over here and we'll head back. Actually, I had did some stuff after the streams to check some stuff out. Let's go check out that because I think you might find something interesting with this too. So give me a little bit. I'll be right back. We'll be in a spot. Y'all hold on. Okay, we're back. And I wanted to show you too. We have 39, I'm sorry, power shards ready to actually overload stuff. I have had no need to use them yet. So that's why we don't have any being put anywhere because everything is running pretty much optimally. And like I said, everything is already filled. Let's see if we can go this way. I want to show you something. Yes. Funny thing so far too. The, the stink, Whoa, the stink cloud does not affect um does not affect the truck you're like there's no damage when you drive through yet i say yet because i'm sure that will change personal damage or something will happen i don't know because we're sitting outside of this thing not inside of it anyhow over this way am i going the right way when you go i need to go down here let's go down here this way i decided to do some testing too i wanted to see because you can build foundations pretty much anywhere you want any way you want so there's a magnetosphere I'll worry about that later. Let's get over here. So over here, this was actually when I first tested the game. This is where I built my first factory at. There's six uh, iron nodes over here, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. There's some copper over on the other side. Two of them over there. Anyway, um, this way is it still? Yes, it is. You can see it in the distance what I built. I was like, I got over here, I grabbed the slug or two, and then was like, looked over, I was like, you know what? I wonder if we could get to build and get across that, because that looks like it's supposed to be just scenery. I'm just, I'm not, I don't trust myself driving on this, and I had to go through these trees, I feel like cutting down trees or anything, but you can see, let's see, this is a lot of foundations. It's a gorgeous view, too. It's a great viewpoint of the beautiful waterfalls that have, that we have out here. I'm glad we could share this this moment with you guys. Yeah, but over here, this is took uh, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do. I had a full load of concrete. Still was not enough. Still was not enough. Bam! I was waiting for that one. And... I wonder if there's a way to trigger that punch or it's just another animation that does the same amount of damage or something. Okay, finally, we're coming to the end. So you can see we've crossed a wide, wide area that we can't even see the bottom of. Holy crap, that's close. Can't even see the bottom of. And um, yeah, I thought it was pretty neat coming over here. There is what I would expect. This is like filler um, landmass, so you can't really see past it. So uh, down here... There's some trees, obviously, you can see the trees, but that's about it. Um, it's probably quickly done enough to fill in the exterior, and we're more fo focused needs to be on in the actual play area. But since we can build everywhere, why is this not a play area? You can see it's pretty cool uh, You could, where they lift it up the side of the area. And if we go up here and around, there's even more just stuff. And then if I go this way, too far ow you can see that's like an invisible wall of death which i guess if any game's gonna have it it's okay if they have theirs because they got so many good things in this i'm not gonna uh, be mad that they didn't have something more specific to block us in because we probably still could have gotten over it with whatever we built so this though we were i was able to run over here and it's still just flat plains with nothing going on but um you can see they got desert over there uh, or beachy kind of stuff i don't know you can see a little island back there i don't know if they plan to eventually add this in or not and then i built a little bridge over the falls that leads to this water which you can stand on 
and run her through. <laughs> so you can tell that this was put up here just to have a visual effect on it, um, which I'm not mad at. It's just interesting to see the edge of how they manage their game, like play areas. I got another bridge continuing this way. I went through a lot of cement doing this, but as you guys saw, cement is not a problem. It is not a problem at all. But it was pretty cool just to see what we could find. And all this does is leads us back into the play area and, you know, that's everything we've got. Now we could build it to where we can bring the vehicle and do like a vehicle thing out here. But yeah, it was like, eh. And then you see a split between the calm water and then the lake water, which I was like, okay, am I going to jump in and die? But it's pretty interesting. Like the different materials are using. You can see how busy that is. You can see how placid that is. And this is standing in water and this is still standing in water. So there was really nothing bad going on and here you can see the gap to the textures below on the on the actual sandy bottoms and there's a point in here where you actually fall through into and start swimming which is extremely slow when i get to it so yeah that was something cool i thought i'd share with you guys i figured i'd share the base with you hopefully you like it if you like it well don't forget to slam the like button and i look forward to playing more of this with you guys streaming wise and youtube wise Ooh, but as always thank you so very much and you all have a good night.